Speaking of the chemical business, here in Baton Rouge, Rollins Environmental Services says its plant in North Baton Rouge will resume operations sometime in mid-February. The announcement comes upon the heels of a merger between Rollins and Laidlaw Incorporated. Rollins has reportedly paid in excess of $750 million to combine the businesses. However, residents who live near the Baton Rouge plant are not at all pleased by the news of this merger. WAP News Tonight reporter Monty Danos joins us now with more on that story. Monty? Well, Donna, for years now, the community of Alson, located just north of Baton Rouge off Scenic Highway, has been plagued by what it calls environmental racism. And tonight, residents said enough is enough. You come in our neighborhood and you destroy our life. That's not right. Strong words aimed directly at officials with Rollins Environmental Services. Residents of Allison say for years, Rollins has polluted their community with no regard to its effects on those who live in the area. At issue is the process of catalyst burning. Residents allege that dangerous dioxins released from the process are causing numerous health problems in the community, including infertility and brain disorders. We are the first line of defense. We're getting exposed. We already have young women in our community who've had difficulty having children. Meanwhile, Rollins officials insist their method of processing is safe. President Thomas Reams says his company has had no environmental violations in the past four years. And he says they've met every state and federal requirement possible. We've got pollution control devices that are state of the art. Uh, we've got permits in place that uh, followed the EQ and EPA guidelines. So. Uh, uh, it's, it's a safe and environmentally sound operation. As we mentioned, Rollins is planning to resume its catalyst burning process in mid-February with a 90-day test period. Officials say the process was first abandoned last year for financial reasons. Donna. Money, we heard how the residents feel tonight. What can their next move be? What kind of options do they have? Well, Donna, many of the residents are calling for a lawsuit against Rollins Environmental, and some are pushing for the company to actually buy the community of Alson home by home so that residents can move out of the area.